Hey everyone, a lot of you reached out to me regarding shoulder pain and shoulder exercises to improve your flexibility in your shoulders. I'm going to show you my personal favorite. It's going to address the tight pec minor and pec major muscles. The reason why we're stretching those muscles is because they are notoriously tight, especially if you have a background with lifting weights or a lot of overhead activity. Uh, they will internally rotate your shoulder, which you got to be aware of that. Internal rotation means this. The humerus rotates your shoulders internally. You get that Neanderthal look. We can't have this. When this happens, your head juts forward. Put a lot of wear and tear on those soft tissues in your shoulder joints. So I'm going to show you my favorite chest stretch that I do to help alleviate and even prevent a lot of shoulder pain. This is the two minute hold. And again, we're addressing the pec minor muscle, pec major muscle. If all you do is, is address the side of your pain, the symptom, usually you're not addressing the cause. And when it comes to shoulder pain, I know I'm generalizing right now, but based on my 25 years of working with people in the gym who have shoulder pain, 90% of the time, they are internally rotated in the shoulder and it's wreaking havoc on that shoulder joint. So all you want is a foam roller. I'm gonna show you two versions of this too, easier and hard. It's a great way to end the day also, but you can have your foam roller on the floor. You're gonna lay over it lengthwise. So your tailbone's on the very bottom, your head's on the top. And with your arms, you can make a goal post. So your elbows are at 90 degrees, your palms are open. And what's really important here, you're going to pull your bottom rib cage down. So you're in a nice neutral pelvic tilt. When that happens, your lower back should be touching this foam roller now. And you're going to hang out here and let gravity pull the back of your hands towards the floor. It's a two minute hold. You're just going to hang out and relax. You're going to feel a really good stretch in the front part of your shoulder, specifically that upper chest area, that's pec minor. And it's a two minute hold, but as you do this, you wanna make sure that your lower back is touching the foam roller the whole time. It's putting you in good pelvic alignment. And again, inhale, exhale, just relax. Now, here is a progression of this, especially for men who have really developed chest, and who feel that first version was not intense enough, all you have to do is grab some five, eight, or 10 pound dumbbells. I'm at a point now where I do this so much that I'm using 10 pound dumbbells. I grabbed fives. This is only gonna intensify the stretch. And again, it's two minutes. So go back to your foam roller, set up, tailbone on the bottom, head on the top, and again, don't underestimate the importance of pulling your bottom rib cage down. So your lumbar spine is now touching the foam roller. Put a dumbbell in both hands. Make a goal post, which means this elbows at right angles. And again, you'll find the dumbbells are going to be pulling the back of the hands towards the floor, giving you an even more intense stretch. A lot of you will probably spend the entire two minutes without having the back of your hands touch the floor. That's fine, but over time, as you're more consistent with this, eventually, by the end of your two minute period here, you'll find your hands touching the floor. If that happens, just hang out for two minutes. Just focus on good breathing. Inhale through your nose, fill your diaphragm with air. Exhale through your mouth, release. Two minute hold. And that's a good example of a, an aggressive static stretch. So again, can't stress enough that when it comes to shoulder issues, you can always count on tight chest, tight lat muscles. I'll address the lats maybe on a different post or a different video here, but we're addressing the internal rotators. In this case, this stretch, pec minor, pec major, super, super tight and stiff, give them some attention, uh, make them more flexible. And usually you'll feel a big improvement in your shoulder pain. If you have any questions, reach out to me. Okay. Thanks.